Dignity Health and Catholic Health Initiatives are working on combining services. Dignity Health owns several facilities on the Central Coast, including French and Marion hospitals. KSBY News reporter Kelsey McFarland looked into the, what this means for patients and why some local groups are concerned about the merger. She joins us live in the newsroom. Kelsey, what did you find out? Well, Christina, Dignity Health representatives say the partnership would allow them to expand medical services and invest in new technologies. But some local groups are concerned medical decisions would be driven by religious instead of medical protocol. Women's March slow in coalition with groups like the California LGBT Health and Human Services Network worry the alignment of the two companies would restrict options for patients. Vita Miller worked as a registered nurse in San Luis Obispo County for 35 years and joined Women's March slow to help raise community awareness. A religious institution will possibly be directing the way health care is delivered. That could result in women's reproductive health care services being reduced or at least not even offered. That also may result in the LGBTQ community having a reduction or office services that are, will not be offered to them. Dignity Health representatives say patients won't see any change in services. California's Attorney General hired an outside company to evaluate how the alignment between Dignity Health and Catholic Health Initiatives would impact local health services. That report says in part, because French Hospital Medical Center and Arroyo Grande are already subject to the statement of common values and not ERDs, the transaction is expected to result in is not expected to result in any reductions in the availability or accessibility of reproductive health services at French Hospital Medical Center. Marion Medical Center is a Catholic hospital and operates under the Catholic Church's principles and directives. According to the new report, there will not be any future cuts to the reproductive health services at that location either. And there is a public hearing scheduled for Friday, September 21st. That's at 10 a.m. at Ledward Community Center. The public is invited to attend and ask any questions they may have. Live in the newsroom, Kelsey McFarland, KSBY News. Thanks, Kelsey. You can check out that full report prepared for the Attorney General on KSBY.com.